Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. Today I'm going to be talking about this. This has just arrived and I just wanted to quickly show you it in a little bit more detail. This has recently been launched on Beautylish and it's Sonia G's new brush holder. Now the full name of this is Cranes Over Mount Fuji Act 2 Brush Holder. I actually have a few of Sonia G's holders. I am so impressed by the craftsmanship that goes into these. She launched these initially, but I wasn't able to get them because they literally sold out within a minute. <laughs> and when I mean a minute, they sold out. So she did another restock where I managed to finally pick this up. You can see how beautiful this is. It's just a work of art. You can see the cranes here. This one is not adjustable like her previous ones that she's launched, but what I love about it is it's nice and long and you can fit a hell of a lot of brushes in here. And I just kind of wanted to just tell you a little bit about how this has been made and demonstrate. I'll try and put a few brushes in at the end of the video just to show you how many brushes you can fit in here, but you've got a lot of slots. What I would do is probably use the smaller slots for eyeshadow brushes and then the bigger slots for like blush brush or brushes that are bigger to go in there because you can't actually adjust it like I just said. The brush holder is 28.2 centimeters long, eight centimeters high, so that's that point, and approximately six centimeters wide. So there. It weighs approximately 370 grams and has 10 compartments. Five for the bigger brushes and five for the smaller brushes. A back compartment is approximately five centimeters by 2.5 and front compartment is approximately five centimeters by 1.6 centimeters. It is the same length as the previous cranes over Mount Fuji but this time it has two rows instead of one. One thinner for the smaller brushes to stand in the front and one wider for the thicker handles at the back. This configuration helps us organize our tools while optimizing the space it takes on our vanity. In the back compartment we can fit handles up to 24.4 millimeters diameter. In the front compartment we can fit handles up to 15.5 millimeters diameter. Small face brushes can also fit in the front row. I think it's very pleasing to see our smaller brushes fitting more neatly in the front and the larger more comfortably at the back. That's what Sonia said. At the bottom of the compartments we have placed a layer of GS felt to provide protection to the wood and the brushes. Depending on the diameter of the handles, we can store between 30 and 40 brushes. We can push this number if the handles are thin, but it depends on how the brushes are organized. This brush holder, the biggest so far, has been crafted using two different woods. The front and the back panels are made out of walnut wood. The rest of the brush holder is maple wood. These two woods have been assembled using a technique similar to Yosegi. Yosegi is a wood making method that involves combining various types of wood, utilizing the differences in their natural colors to create intricate patterns. The front and the back panels of the holder we are showcasing, their beautiful natural wood patterns. Each holder is gonna look different due to the patterns created by the wood grain. If we imagine the walnut wood grain to be the sky and the maple wood grain to be the structure of the mountain, each holder will tell a different story. That's really good because because what that means is that everybody will have something slightly different, which I think is a really lovely thing and very unique as well. If you go to her blog, you'll see side-by-side -side demonstrations. It's just so, so beautiful. I'm so happy that I picked this up. So what I'm gonna do now is just put some brushes in here to show you how much fits in here. Right, so I'm back and I just wanted to show you how much I could fit in this. Now, this is me filling it up to full capacity. Sonia's mentioned there's a certain number of brushes. I didn't count how many brushes I could put in here, but I filled it up with all the brushes that are on the counter behind me when I film my videos and everything fit in there, which is extraordinary. I couldn't believe it when it all fitted in there, to be honest. I mean, I've got a mixture of Wayne Goss, I've got Sonia G brushes, I've got Pat McGrath, I've got a real mixture, Lisa Eldridge. They all fit wow i mean i've got sort of containers for them anyway this is really lovely to have in one place and i'm really really impressed at the capacity so i just wanted to show you that yeah full to the brim full to the brim 
So I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on this brush holder. I am so glad that I picked it up because I have collected Sonia G's brush holders since she first started launching them back in 2020, I think. So it's been about three years now and I have continuously picked up Sonia G's brushes as she's launched new ones. I've got so many other collections I haven't shown you that she has launched and I will be showing those to you soon. But I just wanted to say that I have no regrets. I highly recommend this. So when it does relaunch again, definitely put your name down on the waiting list. But what I would say is as soon as it hits that launch time, you need to be online and you need to have your card details ready and you need to press buy because I noticed that a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to get it this time. I'm not sure what happened, whether it just ran out of stock. I didn't know how much Sonia had, but I think she will be launching this again at some point. It looked like from her comments that they will be bringing it back. So keep an eye out on Beautylish. Do a little reminder thing to say, if it comes back in stock, let me know. But I have no regrets. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I'm so chuffed to bits that it can fit so much in there. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.